Welcome back. A frustrated mayor of Ottawa blasts the cadre of conservative parliamentarians. This is a photo that set the Ottawa mayor, Jim Watson, off. And the photo tweeted by conservative MP Kevin Waugh. Uh, Waugh and some of his colleagues from Saskatchewan were supporting the truckers that have uh, held the downtown core of the capital city hostage for six days now. In the photo with a truck in the middle of the intersection, the former conservative leader Andrew Scheer, who grew up in Ottawa, conservative senator Denise Batters, MPs Rosemary Falk, Warren Steinle and Fraser Tolme uh, are there. Uh, Mayor Jim Watson called for those parliamentarians to apologize. He called it a disgrace. Um, has there been an apology? Meantime, we're just learning news that the protesters are starting to build a wooden structure, which we just showed you pictures of, about 500 meters from Parliament Hill in a place called Confederation Park. Let's get the latest from the Ottawa Mayor, Jim uh, Watson. Mayor, first of all, did you talk to any of the Conservative parliamentarians? Did they apologize? And what is your message for these parliamentarians who continue to support the truckers? Well, it was really the height of insensitivity. You know, um, uh, Evan, our residents have suffered greatly, particularly those who live in the downtown core at Lower Town, Centre Town. Uh, Andrew Shear should know better. He grew up, as you pointed out, in Ottawa. He knows that uh, Ottawa is not just the parliamentary precinct. It's a vibrant series of communities and neighbourhoods. And to see these elected and appointed officials come and uh, mug for the, the, the cameras and, and send out selfies is really the height of irresponsibility. You know, what would, uh, how would they feel if these individuals, uh, these truckers, went into their community in Saskatchewan and blew the horn nonstop all day and all night. And these are the same people that are going out urinating on the, the cenotaph, dancing on the, the Tomb of the Unknown Soldier, stealing meals from the homeless shelter, uh, putting up signs for uh, on Terry Fox's statue, yelling racist but slurs. But, Mayor, they, they, say, they, say, but they, they say that they support the, they don't support those, quote, bad apples. You've heard this, that they actually support the cause and th that, that you are mischaracterizing it by pointing out those few bad incidents, that this is really about supporting the bigger cause, and that's why you're getting Mr. Polyevra and even the new interim leader, Candace Bergen, today, not only taking photos with them, but saying the government should ha reach out an olive branch to the, the protesters. What's your view of all that? Well, look, at the, the trucks that they were standing in front of are breaking the law right now. They, they don't seem to understand that, that that's an illegal activity. Uh, having open fires, drinking in public, all of these things are taking place. Uh, and I could go on and on about the, the number of infractions uh, in the residential communities, including senior citizens who are afraid to go out and get their groceries. Uh, we've had uh, racial taunts that... Uh, um, African-Canadian uh, members of our community. Uh, this, this is the kind of um, insensitivity that we're seeing from these Conservative MPs. When I saw that tweet, I thought, this is the height of irresponsibility. We're in the midst of a crisis, and to go out and do selfies in front of uh, illegal activities really is, is um, unbecoming uh, members of Parliament and Senators. And, and they deserve, uh, our people in Ottawa deserve better, and they deserve an apology from these, these characters that went out there and, and uh, showed little regard for the stress and strain that people in our neighborhoods are suffering 24 hours a day. M uh, Mayor, any update on the fact that we, we hear the NCC is aware of the situation of structures being built in a, in a park nearby, these wooden structures? Um, they say we can confirm that the canisters has be have been removed from the site. Is there going to be an, a police intervention there? Well, uh, there already has been. They've, they've removed the... Um, the propane tanks and, and diesel and, and talk about a stupid move and how dangerous that could be. Uh, and uh, obviously it's federal land, so the RCMP and the NCC, the National Capital Commission, will have to be involved. But that uh, structure should be taken down. I don't know what they're going to use it for, but it's on federal property. It's in a park. And uh, again, these individuals seem to not think uh, beyond their nose is putting those kind of two volatile products side by side um, does not make any sense. And, and the last thing we need is some explosion where someone gets hurt or killed. So, you know, the message has been very clear from the city of Ottawa and from our police chief. You've had your say, you've had your 15 minutes of fame. It's time to move on. I met, for instance, today with the GoFundMe uh, senior people from the United States and Canada. And I'm very pleased that they're freezing their funds. They're, they've stopped accepting donations. They're doing a full review. The whole thing seems very sketchy. You know, this one woman is getting all of this money. How is she distributing it? Uh, where's that money going to go? Uh, so my hope is that, uh, and I suggested this to the GoFundMe people, 
keep the money frozen until these folks leave the city of Ottawa right. and then give them that incentive. You can collect your money and do with it what you want. But if, boy, you know, if I was an auditor, I'd, I'd love to take a look at those books of where this $10 million is going to be spent and how it's going to be distributed. Uh, it seems very, very vague and sketchy. Mayor, the citizens are mad that the police aren't doing enough. The citizens are mad that you as mayor weren't better prepared to make sure that this convoy could not basically park on the parliamentary precinct and allow them to take over essentially the whole downtown. Do you take responsibility for preparation and not having the city prepared? And what about the police? Are they doing enough to stop this? Well, ultimately, as mayor, I take responsibility for everything that goes bad and everything that goes good. And uh, there's no question... Um, we had about three days worth of planning. You compare that to the G20, where they had about six months of time to, to plan. Uh, they were coming in from all angles, uh, and we couldn't uh, stop everyone from getting into the downtown core. We've seen a, a reduction in the number of, of uh, vehicles and people. We're going to hopefully uh, see that continue, although this weekend we hear there's some farmers that are going to be coming and joining uh, the protest as well. And I've, I've suggested to our neighbours in East Ontario uh, please, this is not the time to, uh, you know, add to our, our woes and add to the, the woes of, our, of the residents in our community. Uh, we'll do a post-mortem, obviously, after this is, is through on how we can do a better job. Right. But uh, I have full confidence in the men and women of our police service. They have a tough job trying to keep the peace, de-escalating, which is the number one priority, obviously. We don't want this to flare up. And we know that many, many of these people arrived here very angry, very upset, and uh, they were looking for a fight. And the last thing we need is a, a riot being created uh, between police and these protesters. So that's why I call on the leadership of the group that had a press conference today, uh, grow a spine, get out there and tell these people to move on, go back to their home provinces and lobby their provincial governments that have a responsibility okay. for that. Just, just last thing, Mayor, because I know you got to go. I've got so just 30 seconds. Um, I know they, they called us a peaceful protest. They say it's their right. But how is this going to end, sir? When is this going to end? Do you have any idea is well, there, well, if there's going to be any action? First of all, it's not a peaceful protest. When people are being spat upon and, and masks are being ripped off senior citizens' faces, when seniors can't get out to do their grocery shopping, paratransport can't get in there to get people uh, a, a trip to a doctor's appointment, it is not a peaceful protest. Uh, experience whatsoever for the people living in the residential communities in Ottawa. I'd like to see this wrapped up, uh, you know, sooner than later. I, I, it should have lasted a day or two. It's gone on far too long, but the police have started to step up enforcement. They've towed some some trucks. They've ticketed uh, for noise violations, over 117, I think, uh, parking violations. Someone was, was charged uh, carrying a long gun into the site. Uh, this is, um, you know, this is not a, a, a simple one-day protest. These people have come with, as I said, a lot of anger and a lot of issues they want to address. But the casualty are the people who are living in the communities surrounding Parliament Hill. And that's uh, got to stop. Mayor, I appreciate your time. I know you've got a very busy night. Thanks for taking it, uh, time to speak to us on CTV's Powerful. I appreciate it. Thanks, Evan.